Hello, and welcome to a video on Organ Car by artist Sean Cassidy. Organ Car was created in 1993 and donated to Lehigh University by collectors Philip and Muriel Berman. This sculpture was a result of a workshop hosted by the Bermans in nearby Allentown, Pennsylvania. The Bermans provided artists with a workspace and material, very commonly from the nearby Bethlehem Steel Factory. At first glance at this 12 foot tall steel sculpture, you can see it, it looks as though it would be part of a train as it's positioned on train tracks. And on the right hand side of the sculpture, there's a pointed end resembling the beginning car of a train. The design is similar to that of a train car mixed with a steam powered organ. This is a similar design to a calliope, the original locomotive whistle. As an engineering student, the hypothetical design on the interior of this car intrigues me. I envision it could be a boiler crossed with a pipe organ or a variation on the vehicle used to maintain railroad tracks or, given its title, an organ car, which is a combination of the two. I've always enjoyed tinkering with mechanical devices such as computers and watches, so seeing this artistic design of a more complex engineering nature makes my mind wander. One can see the technical progression from the 12-foot model Cassidy is portrayed to a more modern one-foot train whistle shown here. To me, this portrays more than a literal technical progression, but that this sculpture has lived through changing times. The Bethlehem Valley itself has changed from a booming factory region, creating the material the organ car is made out of, into a new era of a melting pot of cultures, multiple academic universities, and more. Our model would hypothetically sound a note depending on how much steam is made rather than whatever note is being played on an actual organ by a person. There are holes on the sides of the organ car. These holes could release steam from the interior and if covered would change the pitch of an organ note played. I asked myself, what was Cassidy's intention in creating this sculpture? Was this meant to educate people on new locomotive fashions or perhaps Cassidy had a passion for the sciences he wished to express in his art? There's not much to be found about Cassidy on the internet so it's for the viewer to answer these questions with their own storied fascination. Overall, this sculpture encompasses aspects of Bethlehem history, as it's made of the steel from our Bethlehem factory. It's painted orange, which blends with the autumn colors in the backdrop of its location on mountaintop, and encompasses the significant impact that Bethlehem steel has had on the United States history, as they supplied steel for their transcontinental building of railroad tracks and more.